Well, hello there. Mark Risen Hopkins here with another edition of Crypto Pulse. It's Thursday, March 21st, 2024. On today's show, we'll be talking about Neuralink's first public demo, Sam Altman's comments on the Lex Friedman podcast, and some interesting news from the top corporate holders of Bitcoin. Stay tuned. <laughs> Our first story today, Neuralink's first human implant appears to be showing promising results as reported by PC Magazine. Nolan Arbaugh, a 29-year-old quadriplegic, has become the first human recipient of Neuralink's brain implant, and the results are game-changing. Since January, Arbaugh can control a computer mouse with his mind, offering a new level of independence for those with paralysis. In a live stream, he demonstrated his ability to play chess on his laptop using the implant, describing the sensation as using the force from Star Wars. The implant's impact extends to gaming, with Arbaugh enjoying an eight-hour session of Civilization VI, a game he previously couldn't play due to physical limitations. While acknowledging some challenges with the technology, he remains optimistic about its potential to transform lives. Neuralink's live stream served as a recruitment drive for more human participants in ongoing trials. In a revealing interview with Lex Friedman, an MIT AI researcher and podcaster, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman shared insights into the future of ChatGPT and the development of GPT-4 and GPT-5. Altman hinted at a blend of advancements contributing to the next iteration of AI, stating, It's all of these things together. While he remained tight-lipped about the official name for GPT-5, Altman expressed excitement about the potential leap in intelligence from GPT-4 to GPT-5. However, he teased that OpenAI has other important releases planned before unveiling the next GPT model, keeping details closely guarded. The interview offered a glimpse into the mind of one of the key figures in AI, highlighting Altman's awareness of societal anxieties surrounding the rapid evolution of AI. He acknowledged the need for society to adapt to the transformative potential of artificial general intelligence, AGI, which could overhaul nearly every aspect of our lives. Altman's cryptic comments have fueled speculation and anticipation for what's next in AI, as OpenAI continues to capture the world's attention with its groundbreaking developments. Turning to the world of crypto, here's a fun infographic, and who doesn't love one of those? This one shows the top corporate holders of Bitcoin. As you can see, MicroStrategy takes the crown as the world's largest holder, boasting a staggering 174,530 bitcoins valued at an estimated $9.1 billion as of February 22, 2024. The Virginia-based intelligence software firm's massive investment has propelled its shares to soar over 350% in 2023. While Tesla is a familiar name, holding 10,500 bitcoins, it's MicroStrategy that leads the pack, with its holdings being roughly 10 times larger than the next highest corporate owner, Galaxy Digital, which holds 17,518 bitcoins. On the global stage, the majority of the top bitcoin holding companies are based in North America. However, one standout is Nexon, a Japanese video game publisher, which holds 1,717 bitcoins, making it a unique entry in a list dominated by American firms. This snapshot of corporate Bitcoin ownership highlights the growing interest and investment in cryptocurrency by major companies worldwide. Speaking of large corporate Bitcoin holders, BlackRock, the asset management behemoth, is diving into the world of asset tokenization with the launch of its new fund on the Ethereum network. Dubbed the BlackRock USD Institutional Digital Liquidity Fund, it's represented by the Buidal token and is fully backed by cash, U.S. Treasury bills, and repurchase agreements. Token holders can expect daily yield payouts via blockchain technology. The move is part of BlackRock's broader digital assets strategy, as highlighted by Robert Michnik, the company's head of digital assets. He emphasized the focus on developing solutions in the digital asset space that address real client needs. In addition to the fund, BlackRock has made a strategic investment in Securitize, an asset tokenization company that will serve as the transfer agent and tokenization platform for the fund. The terms of the investment were not disclosed. That's all the news that's fit to print today. Keep questioning, keep learning, and until next time, stay curious. <laughs>